Hello friends, welcome to Coding Dunya. In this video, we are going to learn how to install VS Code Studio in your Mac. As you know, for C and C++ development, you have to use Xcode in Mac. There is no lightweight ID for the Mac like Code Block uh, or Turbo C in uh, Windows. So we are forced to use Xcode, and which is very uh, big software. It takes almost 20 GB of uh, your hard disk space. This is not a good idea to use uh, that much software, that much big software for just a uh, language uh, development. And there is also a uh, very famous so uh, ID, C Lion, but C Lion is a paid software and we cannot afford uh, that. So there is a solution for that. You can use VS Code Studio. For but for VS Code Studio, you have to set up some things. Uh, so let me show how you will set up the VS Code Studio. Firstly, you have to open your browser and uh, go to developer.apple.com I will give the link of the download section of this you have to sign with your uh, uh, iCloud account and uh, download it uh, what you have to download you have to download command line tools for Xcode whichever the latest version you can download it click on the view details and uh, click on the link it will start downloading It is downloading it is almost 500 MB and uh, similarly you have to download VS Code Studio search for VS Code Studio all of the links uh, I will give in the description box and uh, click on the first link with the link code.visualstudio.com You will find for Mac there is a zip file. For Windows there is also VS Code Studio. There is a little difference between uh, both vis Visual Code Studio, but uh, from this uh, tutorial you can uh, also set up Windows. Just uh, as I am going to install uh, command line tools for the Mac, you have to install GCC compiler for the Windows. J search for GCC, GCC compiler and install it. Then the further process uh, is similar in both. Firstly, you have to install GCC compiler in the your Windows machine and then set up the environment variable. Then uh, the further process of a VS Code Studio is similar as I am going to show in this video. So uh, you can see command line tool is downloaded. Click on the, this. You can see command line tools PKG. I have already installed it and you will have to install it double click on it and the and complete the wizard which you will going to show just continue it and agree the term and conditions you will uh, it will be installed it will takes almost uh, four to five minutes to install then you download the vs code studio from the link It is uh, downloading. Just a 181 MB. Almost uh, uh, this setup will take uh, 1 GB of space, which is very less in comparison to 20 GB of space of uh, Xcode for a low end uh, low end variant of MacBooks. This is a uh, 20 GB space is very big. That's why it is very very convenient it is downloaded ah, you can see it is uh, decompressed also so open the finder take this application to your application folder now close the browser eject uh, the drives and open your visual code studio So let me set up this. I like dark theme. There is also a light theme and high, high contrast theme. Just uh, mark all done. Ah, 
this is your uh, main interface firstly you have to open a folder let me make here new folder C program open your working directory always you have to open your working directory yes I trust the author ok and uh, make a C file name it uh, anything I am going to name it main.c and write a uh, code of uh, C and return 0 this is the C code but uh, uh, also you install the recommended extension for C install it and there is a uh, it will show here but uh, the proper way is to click on the extensions and uh, search for C when you type C you will uh, see this uh, Microsoft uh, extension click on that and it is already installed because I had click, clicked on ok uh, along this uh, you have to install one more extension type run this extension dot run code runner it, it will be able to run all of the language almost all of the language click on the install there are very small extensions it is also installed now you can see here uh, there was no play button lo logo but now it, there is a play button logo this is the uh, this dot sign shows that this uh, file is not saved so let me save this with a control s and uh, for running click on the run code here is your output subscribe to recording Lunia. but this uh, output will not able to take your input you have to always give a uh, input uh, in, uh, that means uh, which uh, what we call um, user defined and, uh, by this output you cannot uh, make your program user defined for making user defined you have to uh, make some more changes uh, go to setting manage setting extensions search for run ah, run code configuration you uh, click this so uh, it will clear every time the last output and search for file Uh, run in terminal take this when uh, you will take this then uh, the output will be come in the terminal and you will able to give the input uh, otherwise the scanf function will be not able to use it uh, in the previous setting and also you can take this because we all forget to save code after writing it will auto save before running this too uh, that's all all the setting you have to do now you can see let me make int n scanf percent d and sorry and n printf you have in third percent d let me run this for you you can see now the output is a uh, come in terminal except output so let me enter 5 you have entered 5 and subscribe to coding dunya that's all you have to do uh, all setting i have done you have to write the code and run that's all it will work uh, as uh, very good so i hope you like this video thank you for watching guys